is Miss Grand International pulling away from Cambodia as the host country. Scandal, huge, big. You can read about it all over Facebook, all over TikTok. Um, there's a whole lot of news covering it. So I just want to give you guys my two cents. What it means when some international pageant as big as Miss Grand declaring that Cambodia did not meet its standards is showing the world that Cambodia is not good enough. It's not clean enough. It's not professional enough. It's not safe enough. Like it's, and he didn't even like really clarify what happened, right? So everybody could be guessing, everybody could be speculating, everybody could just be plugging in what they think is happening. And we won't know for sure until he releases more information of like why he made that choice. But if 70 plus countries, 70 plus contestants, these girls are the best of the best. They won Miss Grand in their own country. They came to Cambodia with high expectations that they're going to be highly respected, spoiled and treated with all these luxurious things, five-star hotels, um, resorts, limos, whatever, whatever. Like they're expecting top tier service. They're expecting top tier experiences. And I don't know, I don't know. I'm not in the Miss Grand um, Cambodia organization. I don't know what they provided for, for these girls, right? I just see what I see on social media with you guys. But if these girls are experiencing Cambodia's best of the best and they feel like it's not good enough, that means something, right? If 70 plus countries and the boss, Boss Nawat, thinks that Cambodia is not holding the standard that means something is going on and we have to take a look at that. We can't just be defensive like, oh no, 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 Cambodia is the best, Cambodia is number one, Cambodia is X, Y, and Z. Like we can't just, we can't just like, say that without looking at the facts and the evidence. We need to see what really happened, right? What did these girls experience to make them feel like they didn't want to be in Cambodia anymore? What did they experience to make them feel like, like Cambodia should not be a host country? It had to be crazy. It had to be like something really huge because they wouldn't have pulled away if it wasn't something like a big deal, right? And this means that like, if Cambodia's best of the best is not best enough for an international level, what do we need to do as a country to fix it? What are the issues? What are the problems? How can we solve these problems? Businesses that are in support of international relations, businesses that are in support of um, tourism need to partner up with big competitions like Miss Grand International Cambodia, right? Or Miss whatever, like any of these pageants. These businesses that partner up need to not only care about Cambodia and its reputation and not see it as like a money thing, right? They, not just to get money. They need to see it as a way to, to invest into Cambodia's development as a whole. This is a tough pill to swallow, but as somebody who's stepping back and seeing it from like a bigger point of view and not just a, oh, because they said it like this, we should just follow them. Or because of this, we should just go. No, have your own brain. Think a little bit. Take a step back. Why? Why did this happen? What can we do about it? What things need to be put in place so that this does not happen again. A tough experience because Miss Gran is a huge pageant here in Cambodia. A huge, huge, huge pageant. Everybody knows Miss Gran. They know Miss Gran more than Miss Universe or Miss Cambodia. Miss Gran is like number one here. And so for them to lose their license, that's a big deal. And that's gonna affect, that is going to affect the way people view Cambodian pageantry. All eyes are gonna be on Cambodia after this, you guys. Every single pageant. If you're in the pageant world, all eyes will be on Cambodia. So now, every girl that we send has to be top tier, has to be the best of the best. Because this situation that happened has put a spotlight on our country for like the next five years.